from NBC News. This is Today with Kathy Lee Gifford and Oda Cuffey, live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. Hello, everybody. Yes, yes you have made it to Fun Day Monday, July 21st. Already? 19 days, Hoda, till your big 5-0. Cell phones have become such an integral part of our everyday lives that some of us have developed some very, really bad habits. Yeah, you, re you may remember this guy from the production company Mediocre Films who responded to what many people say is the most annoying cell phone habit ever, which is speaking loudly in public. Take a look. What do you want for dinner? Oh man, I can go for anything. Maybe a burger tonight or burger and fries, pizza. You know, something. Where are the kids at? I don't have kids. Why do you, why do you ask? I'm at the airport. Yeah, me too. I'm sitting here at the airport. Just waiting to get on the flight. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll text you. Great. Text me. Text me and I'll text you back. That sounds perfect. <laughs> Come on. I love him. I love that guy. Alrighty. Sometimes rude behavior isn't funny, though. Here with etiquette tips for cell phone courtesy. So month. It's that month? Yes, wow. it is. It's, it's the president month. of the Protocol School of Washington. Wow. Pamela Irene. Hi, Pamela. Now we're not going to make fun. We're going to be serious. We're, well, you're scaring us. OK, so let's <laughs> pretend we're at our cafe. And we haven't seen and, each other. And we haven't seen each other. But let's also pretend we've just sat down, and somebody at that table is speaking so loudly on their cell phone. That it's annoying. It's bothering us. What should we do? Well, I like to suggest first try to give them the evil eye. Okay. That's when you look Hoda at them. Loves to do stink that. eye. Yeah, yeah give them the stink eye. Yeah. And, you know, raise the eyebrows and kind of look at them like. Can you what? do one of these things? Like what? Really? Yeah. But really. What you if know, they just don't, a little bit like. What if they're like so engrossed? In what if they then use, give you a call. salute of some sort? Well, you know, you get that, then you need to move. Yeah. I don't like confrontation because tables. I've seen people throw cell phones. You don't want to do that. Wow. You want to get in a fight with them. Should Just it even move. be at the table with you when you're no, sitting like this? No, no, no. Actually, when you have it on the table, what happens is is that you <clears throat> look at it. You're distracted by it. It vibrates, and you attention, you know, your attention goes there instead of with your guests, mm -hmm. and then they're distracted as well. What if uh, you're expecting a call from your daughter, let's say, and you need to? You're expecting a call. Or you need to make a call. What's the right thing to do when we're all sitting at the table together. Yes, it's just like if I'm ex uh, needing a call no. or expecting a call from my daughter, yeah. I'll just say, hey, Alexa's got to call me. I got to check in with her. If it's, is it okay if yeah. I take this call? And do you get up and leave the table or do you stay and talk I like here? to leave. I just say, excuse me, ladies, and I'll go and take the call and then I come right but back. But it's just, just being uh, gracious enough to say, listen, you guys, mm -hmm. I, I'm so yes. happy to see you, but I am expecting Cassidy's going to yeah, call. Yeah, you do that. We're waiting to hear exactly. on some tone. Please understand that it's, that, that it's, right. it's, it's kind of an urgent thing. Right. And, and most we people understand. Are, Totally understand. Of course, this is what I do sometimes, which isn't great. But sometimes, because we work and people try to reach us occasionally. Well, nobody, wants yeah, not really. really. But if they work, <laughs> so you're here and you you go like this. Uh huh. Uh huh. We know what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> right. But you peek down. You don't want to be rude and disrupt the whole conversation. But you want to just check and see. Is that a bad thing to to do? You know, I I don't suggest it. I say put it away because you're distracted by it. Put it as far away as you can, and then that mm -hmm. way you can pay attention to guests. What if your purse is vibrating? Show them a picture. <laughs> What if well, your purse is down there right. vibrating? Push it off to the side, get rid of it. No. No, you just let it go. Just ignore it like it's not yours. Okay. What if you get a text from somebody, mm -hmm. and sometimes I've done this, I'm like, I've got to respond to that in a minute later. Then I forget, and then it's halfway through the day, yeah. and then you respond. Mm -hmm. Is there like a time where when oh. it's a text, it seems a like it should be right away? A right. Right. window. Right, and right. 24 hours is really, you know, oh. we want instant response. That's, That's why what we text. That's what we do. Oh, we are, but sometimes we have to relax a little bit and say, you know, I've got to be with these people. I've got family or friends. Right. I'll get back I'll to get them. Back. So within 24 hours is what I suggest. And lastly, should anyone even bother leaving voicemails anymore? I just, I stopped I leaving do. them. I think oh, you should I if you call. Listening. If you make the phone call and they're not there, you should just at least leave a short, um, you know, voicemail and make uh -huh. sure you say it. Uh, not so quick. quickly. No, not too uh, quick. Because well, they're like, who was that? I know exactly you know, what I was thinking. Yeah. Who it was? Kate, Kate Hudson, Hudson telling us she's on tomorrow. Yay. So Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great day. Thank you, buddy.